Hi everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna take a look at a very pretty Oncidium orchid, and this is the Katrin Zoak. Now, I do have another video on this guy in which I refer to it as the Sherry Baby Yellow Flash. This is because this orchid was registered really recently, in 2011, and it used to be commercially called the Sherry Baby Yellow Flash. Of course, that was not a proper name for it. But now it is registered, it has a name, it has a parentage, and it appears to be a primary hybrid between two species. If if you're interested in all these details, I have an info card somewhere on the screen. You can click it and view the complete ID sheet for this orchid. Now a few words on this one. It is my favorite Oncidium. There are multiple reasons why I say this. First of all, it is very, very floriferous. I don't think it ever skipped a season, no matter how stressed it was. And right now, my particular one is slightly stressed because I divided it to share it with a friend and uh, yeah, I broke quite a few roots, but it still bloomed and it bloomed from one single pseudobulb, but it has three flower spikes. Usually this orchid creates anywhere between two to four flower spikes per pseudobulb. How cool is that for an orchid? Now, the flower spikes are not very, very tall. They're not very, very branchy either, but the flowers are just absolutely superb. I really love the color, um, how tiny and delicate they are. And best of all, I really love the fragrance on this particular orchid. I would describe it as a sweet syrup. I cannot say it reminds me of vanilla or chocolate in any way, but it is really, really sweet. And it's quite powerful as well. If you're around the orchid, you can definitely sense it, though it's not overpowering like the Sherry Baby can be. So I think this is somewhere in between. Absolutely love it because it is just so easy to grow, so rewarding. And I think it's the best, best choice for any Oncidium orchid beginner let's say. I don't give it direct sunshine all the time. It has gone through the heat wave and through the cold spell in the winter time with absolutely no problem at all. So he is a fighter. And another bonus, he's not a big boy. I don't think you'll have any trouble fitting this on the shelves or wherever you grow your orchids. The pseudobulbs are quite tiny and they will never grow bigger than this actually. The leaves are a bit tall, but anyway, they're not very, very tall. If you think about the Sherry Baby, this is a pretty tiny orchid. It's not quite as tiny as the Twinkle, but it is really medium sized and I think you can easily find a place for it in your home or in your growing space. I don't have enough good words about this orchid. I don't ever want to lose this orchid and I probably won't because it is just so not fuzzy and easy to grow. So as I was saying, if you'd like to know more about this orchid, you can find the info card on the screen right now. I'm not sure if it's a very popular orchid here in Europe. I think I saw it for sale at Wickman Orchidean. I think so, and probably you will find it now under the name of Katrin Zoak. If you do see it somewhere, get it, it is really a joy to grow and it's really not fussy. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel because I post on a daily basis. Also, feel free to leave me your comments, suggestions or questions in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!